So if Shaul teaches anything different or in disagreement with Yeshua's doctrine, with his teachings, then according to Shaul's own words, we must what? Withdraw from Shaul or the Apostle Paul. We must withdraw from him. So this is a, a rule of thumb for us as, as we're interpreting the writings of Shaul that can be hard to understand, as the scripture says. That Shaul, unless he's a liar, Shaul is never going to teach something different than Yeshua. He's never going to teach something that disagrees with the sound words, those of our master Yeshua Messiah. And so when you read Shaul, if you come across something that looks like or sounds like, or maybe you're under the influence of religion and you think it's, it's Paul teaching something different than Yeshua, and religion says that he, that he teaches something different than Yeshua, then Shaul is either lying or it's not Shaul's problem. It's the problem of our interpretation of his words. Can you say amen? In other words, we, we have the interpretation of, of Paul's writings incorrect. And so we need to find other ways to, to interpret Paul's writings that they might agree with Yeshua. Because Shaul or Paul said, if I teach anything different or in disagreement to the sound words, those of our master Yeshua Messiah, then withdraw from me, in essence. All right? So that should help us in our interpretation of Shaul. His writings, his teachings will always agree with Yeshua. Always. He says that Yeshua's teachings are the foundation for all sound doctrine. Any doctrine that departs from Yeshua's teaching is unsound doctrine. And we need to withdraw from those that teach such.